Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you the differences between GPT-3 and GPT-J. So I'm going to compare the two models on interactive demos online and I'll show the differences between speed and performance. So what is the difference between GPT-J and GPT-3? Well, GPT-J was trained on a smaller but higher quality data set with around 6 billion parameters, while GPT-3 is a, another trained model but on a larger general data set with 175 billion parameters. Now the difference is GPT-J was tested on a higher quality data set like I mentioned before, but at the same time GPT-3 was tested on a bigger data set and that gives it a couple of advantages such as it can create an output much faster than GPT-J and has a much higher accuracy than GPT-J and I'll show the statistics at the end with the results. So the interactive demo I'm going to be showing you today is on this website right here and here we are selecting GPT-J and what I'll be doing is adding a couple of prompts and what will happen is the model will create an output. So it'll be a uh, paragraph with a question following it, and then it'll it should output an answer. And we will be able to see the differences in performance between GPT-3 and GPT-J with the amount of time it would take to respond to those questions. So here I'll be adding a prompt. So here we have a paragraph and then we have a question answer how long does cook steak last in the fridge and it should get the answer from the paragraph so if we press run model okay so now it's created an answer and here we can see it says there's a lot of variation with respect to the shelf life of cooked meat and poultry i would recommend that you eat steak within three to four days which is exactly the answer that was mentioned in here so now this model took around five to ten seconds to create a prompt and now we can compare this on open ai so this is open ai's gpt3 playground where you can add a bunch of response uh, prompts and mess around with the settings and just see how the model would respond so if we paste same thing over here So the answer here is three to four dates, which is exactly correct. Um, as you can see, the response is much faster. So now we can test another question. So here we have another prompt and a question. And this question says, is a tomato a vegetable or a fruit? And so if we run the model, take a little bit of time. Okay, so here we got the response and it just says, it basically summarizes and says it is a fruit and it gives an explanation as well. So this response took again around almost 10 seconds. So if we go back to here. And ask, is it tomato, vegetable or fruit? And here also pretty much says the same thing, a, tom a tomato is a fruit. Okay, so now another example. Here, this is a simpler question. So here it's just asked how many proteins are in an egg. Okay, so here it says an egg has seven grams of protein, which is correct. And it also gives the calories and so on. So if we go back here, do the same. Okay, so it pretty much at the end says seven grams of high protein. It gets a little cut off because of the response length, but it, it pretty much gives it, and it also gives a bit more detail than GPTJ. So I'd say the playground or the GPT-3 response was a bit better. So here I can add another question with the prompt. So you can start to tell that the GPT-J model is a bit slower. It has a pretty good response, but I'd still say the GPT-3 has a faster response time and still gives a better answer. And here we have another question. Can cats have peanut butter? 
okay and it says yes and it gives an explanation as well after now if we go to GPT-3 ask the same thing pretty much at this uh, both of them had a good response but GPT-3 always has a faster response time which is pretty good especially when you're applying it in different use cases it becomes very important uh, how long response time take and so yeah that's pretty much it for the demo over here now the open AI playground demo is not available to everyone it has limited access but you can still use this website over here to test out GPTJ and it's still a pretty good interactive page now going on to the results this is this was just a demo for the prompts but overall over here we can see that GPTJ has an accuracy of around 70% and the speed in seconds around 10 seconds and now over here GPT-3 better accuracy 100% and speed is just one second around average and usually for answers GPTJ gives a much longer answer but in this case we want like compact answers and GPT-3 does that so yeah that's pretty much it for this video um, I hope you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching